Alright guys, then the second part of that assignment, there's a few word questions there. So the first one says, if the pneumatic signal is 8 psi, what's the level of the tank? So, you can't just take the 8 divided by 15, because it's not going to give you the right percentage. Because this range of 3 to 15 is not referencing 0. So you got, again, you got to take this range and drop it down to something that references 0. Then you can get your percentage. So, in order to bring it down to 0, it looks like we've got to take 3 off each of these values. Right? So the 3 to 0, the 15 to 12. Right? So here we've got a 3 to 15 range. And we're dropping it down to a 0 to 12 range. And now that we've got something that's referencing 0, we can now take that percentage. So 5 divided by 12 gives you 41.67%. So if you're reading 8 PSI on a 3 to 15 range, then it's actually 41.67% of that range. Okay, next one. If we got 13 PSI out of 15, and you take, you can't take the 13 divided by 15 again because it's not referencing 0. So we're going to go from the 3 to 15 range, and we're going to drop that whole range down to a 0 to 12. That way, once it's referencing 0, we can take the percentage. So, again, 3 comes off everything, 15 goes down to 12, 3 goes down to 0. The 13 you were reading, drop it down to 10, and now take 10, divided by the high end of the range, to give you 83.33% of the range. So, 13 PSI is 83.33% on a 3 to 15 range. Okay? Next one, if you've got a current signal, so, standard current signals are 4 to 20 milliamps. Again, that's an elevated zero, so we can't take the 5 divided by the 20. So we're going to drop it down to a 0 to 16, because there are 16 equal increments between 4 and 20. Okay? 4 minus the 4 gives you 0. 20 minus the 4 gives us 16, so now we're 0 to 16. 5 minus the 4 gives us 1. And now we can find our percentage. Take the 1 divided by 16 gives us 6.25%. Okay. If the current is bumped up to 17 milliamps, what's the level? Well, again, take 4 off that value, right? Drop it down to a 0 to 16 range. So we have a 4 to 20 that we're actually reading the 17 milliamps on. We're going to drop that down to a 0 to 16 range. And if we take 4 off this guy, we've got 13. And now we're referencing 0, so we can get a percentage. 13 divided by 16, giving us 81.25% of that range. This guy here, if it's a voltage signal and it's already referencing zero, we don't have to do any of this fancy moving of the, or shifting up the range. It's already referencing zero, so now we can take the one and a half, divided by the five, and that gives you 30%. Okay? 